Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is just a really quick video um, on a time lapse I did of a pug. Um, I used pan pastels and pit pastel pencils. So here you can see me just applying the pan pastel with the soft tools um, that are provided um, when you sometimes get some of the packs. So there's different applicators. So I've kind of gone in and put the dark tones in and then you'll see me here putting in the lighter tones, which is the... Um, raw umber tint um, and then going into the eyes I'm now on the pit pastel pencil so I kind of outline the edge of the eye and then I plot in the highlight and then go in with the mid-tones after um, I always put the highlight in first to make sure I've got everything where I need it to be and that stays nice and clean and bright and I then knock that back with some soft greys and blues and add in the reflection of the eyelashes and follow that with some hints of white I'm then going in and adding the hair detail around the eyes and really softening up all the base layers, adding in the fine hair details. Um, you'll see there I was just cross-checking because the reference photo was really blurry. I was just making sure that the eyes were the right measurements. Um, but again, following the same process, adding in the highlights and then the mid-tones. I'm then going into the creases of the pug's head with the pit pastel pencils and adding in all the little hair details. now working onto the ear so there's lots of little hairs that you maybe can't see quite so well on the video but I'm just plotting all those in mainly using a mixture of black warm gray cool gray and a white and I'm also adding in a little bit of raw umber just to soften and warm some of the areas that are around the edge of the ear working the same onto the other ear again kind of using um, really soft pressure on the top layers for the hair details and making sure that I've got all the base layers in the correct um, tone values so I can then layer the hairs on much easier when it comes to the last few layers. Adding in a little bit of raw umber again just to soften the forehead and add a little bit of warmth to the pug's head. The forehead was quite difficult because you don't want to draw in really stark lines so it's kind of using feathery motions to create the wrinkles in the forehead and then shading either side to kind of make it come to life and kind of become 3D. I'm then blending in under the eye area and really softening that so it fades from the dark area under the eye to the white of the fur on the outside of the head and then blending that out using the pencil pastels and adding in all the little hair details. Um, for the nose, I go in again with the black and add in the nostrils and all the dark areas that I can see and sort of blend those out and then go in with a warm gray and also a bit of violet just to give a warmth to the muzzle area. I did use another reference photo for this just because um, it was really poor quality from what I was working on just to get in all the little pore details and all the finer hairs. So now going in with each individual hair and kind of starting with the lightest colour I can see in the individual hairs, then adding a mid-tone and then a dark and then doing the process again until I feel it looks the most lifelike. Uh, I then add whiskers. I try and sharpen the pencils as much as I can and add the soft white whiskers and some black and then really make it pop. So this is the final pug. Um, I hope you like him. Sorry, it's a really quick video. It was just a quick time lapse I did. He is part of a double portrait. So I'll share the double portrait on my Instagram and on my Facebook. If you did like this video, um, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.